Halo Reach Theater finally coming to the MCC on PC. Forge being delayed a little bit longer. We do have the exact release date and time of Halo 2 and Halo 2 Anniversary, along with some Halo 3 performance improvements on console and some flighty news for Halo 3. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out the video and channel helps more people get the chance to see this video to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the content here. As we see every Friday Postums goes on Halo Waypoint and gives us a nice little development update coming for the MCC. As the flying process has come and passed and the release date has been announced for May 12th at 8 p.m what kind of errors and issues were fixed between that time was there anything that was new that was brought up was there anything that was fixed between that time well in this development update they go into what's going to be the known issues going into the release of this flight because they do know that there are going to be some going to be going to make it through no matter what but we did have some information knowing that they're going to be fixed in a future update as well so what's all new coming to this next update well for pc players we're getting halo 2 anniversary and halo 2 as well reach theater mode is coming in customization for halo 2 and halo 2 anniversary and weekly campaign challenges emphasis on the campaign we did have a previous screenshot of what a uh, full view of these campaign challenges would look like they did actually involve some seasonal challenges with pvp but that seems to be coming in later right now we have weekly campaign challenges which is going to be a, a great reason to hop in and play those campaigns once again now i'm sure you have heard this term forge when it comes to watching these update videos basically it's forge and theater being mentioned within the same topic and it does seem like theater mode is actually ready to be shipped and go out to be implemented in these future pc titles though forge still needs a little bit more time in the oven so with that being said halo reach will be receiving theater mode on pc on may 12th so that's a great addition it'll help really help out a lot of people who are making like montage clips or anything that are machinimas or anything like that because theater is a very important tool when it comes to the experience of halo in the dev update they do mention that they've made great progress with forge and looking like it's going to be pretty close to being shipped but not quite ready so i would assume that forge will probably come with the release of halo 3 maybe a little bit sooner now talking about halo 3 there have been some performance issues with it on the xbox version ever since ce has come to the pc and that update created some issues luckily 343 has recognized some of the issues and has been able to uh, work on it stating that the team has been conducting internal tests and they are showing positive improvements for the experience, which you will see in this update. So a lot of the issues have been mostly performance based with a lot of frame drops and issues like that. It does seem like the team has kind of found that issue and has resolved it, though they are saying that they are gonna keep working on this and they will be listening to community feedback in additional areas to help improve the performance of Halo 3. So during this time, there actually was a new error that was found saying H2A found out that the reticles is our little off center when playing split screen multiplayer now this will not be fixed with the upcoming changes and update but it will be probably fixed within the update soon after this as they mentioned in this blog post saying a hotfix build update for this in the coming weeks ahead now in this development update they do go into the known issues of halo 2 on pc and i'm sure just on console just in general as well going into this launch now there are quite a few uh errors uh, basically if you've seen my 10 issues with the h2 uh, pc port video you'd probably see a lot of similar updates here i will leave a link in the description down below if you want to go through all the updates if i did it'd be an insanely long uh, video but some of the issues that were known going into the flight have maintained and going into the release build some of the issues being when you look at the fan on stone town the fps sometimes drops below 45 sometimes as in basically every time i looked at the fan when playing on that map so that's certainly an issue that might be kind of more of a btb issue i never really played a whole lot in 4v4s so that could be one thing right there as performance does take a quite a dip when you have all these different things happening on the game at the same time so maybe it won't be so severe in 4v4s 
Um, another thing they mentioned about how the uh, frame rate in theater is capped at 60 when you're trying to play unlimited. Now, I did mention that previously, this is not that big of an issue for me as most of the stuff on theater or you want to record, put up, it'll be recording at 60 FPS anyways. So I don't find that that big of an issue. But they do mention some things with Halo 2 Classic about how the respawning and the bullet registration don't parody the original game as much as they should. That just kind of feels weird where you have a flight test build and I would feel like that you're going to use that to hopefully take time and feedback to realize what stuff you need to fix and realize before releasing the game. I read a lot of the stuff and most of it is rather minor, yeah, like things like decals moving when you're shooting, not that big of a deal, doesn't affect gameplay, but things like bullet registration and spawning are quite important when it comes to your online experience. And if you're planning to do tournaments, which we will have another video talking about the uh, HCS Pro scene that's going to be coming around, that we have a big update with that, which will be in the next video. Uh, it does seem like you would need to update that to where you'd feel like pretty confident about the experience of that. Now, I do understand there is a tight timetable when it comes to releasing these games. They definitely want to try to release all the games on PC of the, of the MCC before Halo Infinite's launch. And so there is a very tight window when you're trying to get that out there, which is probably about six months, something like that. Though the mantra of it's ready when it's ready doesn't seem to be exactly followed. And it seems like a lot of stuff that you're doing for the flighting is more alerting issues rather than uh, getting alerted of issues and fixing them before release. Now, my experience with the Halo 2 flighting, I thought was really fun. I you know, I, I didn't really know as much about the bullet registration or the spawning system, really. I think your casual player like myself won't really notice anything like that, but your very experienced players might know some differences when it comes to the original games and what how they play on, on the MCC. Again, if you want to check out those known issues, basically just watch my you know 10 known issues video. It basically sort of has all the important issues you're going to need to know when it comes to the release of this game. Now, a very interesting part about this update, they mentioned about Halo 3 flighting. As we do know, that's the next game coming around here. They do not mention ODST, which a lot of people are speculating maybe ODST and Halo 3 be flighted at the same time. Uh, but it seems like maybe they're just talking about just Halo 3 at first. And they said that the prep work is already well in progress with early testing beginning in the coming weeks with our Ring 1 folks. So the testing process has begun internally at 343 currently right now technically ring zero if you want to call it that and so we're looking to hopefully have a ring one flight happen within the next coming weeks i'd probably say two weeks would be my guess maybe three weeks and then generally it seems like once it goes up to the ring one and two flighting about two weeks after that happens we have ring three which would mean we probably will be seeing some flighting of halo 3 happening next month in june meaning we might have a release of halo 3 in july which would be pretty exciting it would be a well-timed announcement when it comes to the X inside the Xbox event that's coming in July as well. So what are your thoughts on this upcoming update on May 12th for the MCC bringing Halo 2 and Halo 2 anniversary to PC? I'm super excited about that. I will definitely be streaming it a ton on my Twitch channel. So link in the description down below. If you guys want to give it a follow there, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself updated with all the news and happenings with the Halo universe. We have a new tournament system since the pandemic has taken over and we have a new system when it comes to the pro scene. Very interesting that I do enjoy myself some pro Halo stuff with amateurs can be involved with this. So we'll make a video about that one next. Though if you've been out of the loop for the last few days when it comes to Halo news, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a playlist to all my news update videos when it comes to the MZC and Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these kind of informational videos, please make sure to tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out